Hello, my beautiful people out there on YouTube. This is a person you don't want to see every day, but you do, because I upload constantly. I am Gemma, and to start off this video, I just want to say thank you all so much for 100 subscribers. Like, this is unreal. I can't even tell you guys how much this means to me. So, for this video, I will be cutting paper. Now, you might be looking at yourself being like, Gemma, why are you cutting paper as a video? What content is that? But I am going to let fate decide a book I'm going to write. And thought I would tell you guys how this challenge would work while I'm cutting this paper. So, hi Lance, how you doing? I, I was about ready to just yell and, <laughs> and ruin it, but okay. <laughs> so basically how this little challenge thing is going to work is I wrote down lots of stuff that has to do with like books and stuff like that. And I'm going to cut these out, fold them up, and put them in little bowls to let fate decide. And I'm gonna draw different things like such as the genre, names, personality traits, just important stuff like that. And basically everything that you need to write a book. And so I got this crazy idea because I just did a stupid, I'm cutting with my left, left hand, but I'm supposed to be cutting with my right hand. I have right-handed scissors. I am left-handed, guys. Fact. And I was, like, talking to myself, and I was like, man, I should, like, just think of a random book idea without even, like, planning it. And of course, I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna grab a chair. Hold on. <laughs> and of course like I have no idea how to just think of a book at random without planning like everything so I was thinking I was like how am I going to plan out like these scenarios without like you know planning them <laughs> and so there are these videos I'm sure that you guys have done them but they're called would you rather videos and they give you an option of would you rather do this or do that and you just pick you know what I mean and so I'm gonna try to scout out some scenario videos of would you rather and whatever the scenario is whatever I pick I have to incorporate that into this book now and I'm also going to be taking suggestions from you guys because well you know you guys like just got me to a hundred subscribers like i have to do something in return so on this video if the comments aren't turned off that is if you guys would comment some ideas think of a scenario i'm gonna put myself in this book obviously if you guys have an idea for a character go ahead and put down a little profile like what is their personality what do they look like and I'll incorporate that character into this book regardless of what it is. And if you guys have any scenarios, you know, describe them in deep detail. And yeah, so I thought that, you know, like I said, you guys got me to 100 subscribers. Like, I have to repay you guys in some way. And then the next video I'm going to post, if it's not a stupid edit, again, I've been doing a lot of those, sorry if you guys are getting sick of them, but, um, you know, I'm going to do the actual making of this video, of this video, of this book. And for this one, you know, it's 8.08 at night. I'm obviously not going to get to probably filming the actual like drawing. I'll probably do that tomorrow if I have time. I'll do something. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated with this book because like I'm so scared. You know what I mean? And then like I'm also going to be taking a lot of like personality tests and stuff like that. Just because like what else am I supposed to do? I just realized I haven't been separating these out. Oh no. Okay. You need to keep these separated out because I have them in different categories. You know, it's like, I don't know. I still can't get over the fact that we're already at 100 subs. Like, this family has grown. Like, this family of beautiful people has grown far too big. 
I'm sorry for saying that. You guys are probably gonna be like, oh, too big, I'm just gonna unsubscribe. Please don't do that. It's always been my dream to be famous in some way and you guys are obviously making that dream come true and I cannot thank you enough for that. Honestly, like, cause I was at my dad's whenever I found out that we finally hit 100 subscribers, but I looked and we were at 107. And right now we're at 113 in this very moment when I'm filming. So this is like, honestly, like unreal. Like I said before, like, I can I cannot thank you guys enough. And I also was thinking, what if I did a Q&A? So obviously like I'll answer a few questions, maybe not all of them. If they're too personal, you know, I might not answer them because, you know, I don't want to incriminate myself too much on the internet. Of course, like with every milestone, I'm going to do something special and this that I'm doing here is going to be like my 100 subscribers. And if we hit 120 by, if we just hit 120, then I will do a Q&A video. So if you guys wanna know more about me, share this channel with your friends, your dog, your cat, your fish, your snake, whoever you need to share it with to get me to 120 to get a Q&A, do it. <laughs> like that is a challenge and I am challenging you to do that. Okay, so we have different categories. Like here we have girl names, here we have different genres. I should probably separate that out from the trash because like, makes sense. We have genres, boy names, and these two little cute little pieces of paper will determine the villain's gender. Like I said, I'm going all out for this. Like, fate is deciding, like, everything. I wrote down a bunch of personality traits. I wrote down little, I don't exactly, so you know whenever you guys like watch a movie or read a book, there's always like a really like something that's like a big deal, whether it's like an explosion, someone dies, something like that. Like I always title that, this is just my opinion, but I always call it the big one because like it's big, it's huge, no matter what happens, like it's a huge thing. And I, you know, I just call it the big one. So, and Fate is even going to decide the big one. And what I wrote down, I wrote down explosion, talk, at the last moment, war, battle, or fire. Because, and I wrote down talk because, like, you know, there might be just, like, something like, oh my gosh, like, if I get romance, it'll be, like, like, <laughs> I might as well just, like, I just dropped a slip of paper <laughs> I might as well just like do all of them just because like, you know, if I get romance as the genre, which by the way, I incorporate just a little bit of romance in every book that I write, just, you know, just like cute little like coupling or I make characters that everyone reading will ship and everything. There's just like stuff like that, but it's never like completely devoted to romance. You know what I mean? And plus I'm pretty sure that every single movie or book has some kind of romance in it. You know what I mean? Like you just, you can't go without it. And even me, who is not a huge fan of romance and not looking for a romantic relationship at my age, like I just, I it just pops up and I can't even stop it. Now to those young male writers like Nuclear Panda, Nuclear Ape, great guys, by the way, love them, go subscribe to them. Like, They'll obviously beg to differ with me and be like, oh, I don't incorporate romance. But that's okay. I wouldn't expect you guys to just because you guys are young and you're boys. Like, I don't mean to be sexist, but like, that's, that's just human nature. You know what I mean? Like, boys at your age are just like, ew. <laughs> so, you know, like, if you don't add romance, that's fine. If you do add romance, that's okay too. But if I get, but like, I've never written some kind of like Romeo and Juliet type book. You know what I mean? That's just, that's not my writing style. I write horror fantasy with a little bit of romance, maybe sci-fi, but it always has horror in it. Always. And it always has a lot of blood in it because I'm emo. 
and like because that's my writing style you know everybody has their own writing style and like you know that's just how I write and I'll obviously keep you guys updated with this book because if you guys have any ideas like you guys are writing this book with me you know what I mean like I'm taking suggestions from you guys you guys can comment on any video that you want like any video that I post you can be like oh this is for the book you, you can write hashtag book and if you have some like a question for like the q a you can say hashtag q a and then you know do your questions because I just dropped another piece of paper because you know like that's it's common sense so yeah now on this sheet of paper we have appearances if I, I wrote down natural eye color and unnatural eye color, same with the hair color, because I wrote down realistic in the genres because I don't write realistic books. Fantasy is not realistic whatsoever. Now, realistic things might happen, but when I say realistic, I mean like no fantasy, nothing like that, like something that you would encounter in your everyday life, but it would still be horror, you know what I mean? Like a serial killer, that's realistic. You know what I mean? And so, you know, obviously no person on earth, unless they have like albinism or something, has like red or yellow or purple eyes. So I'm separating those out and that's why I'm drawing the genre first and foremost, because, you know, the genre will kind of determine what these characters will look like. Now, I'm one of those weirdos that definitely incorporates, like, my friends in these books. They obviously, their names aren't always, like, their real names. Of course, like, mine, like, sometimes I'll add, you know, their real names. But oftentimes, like, I don't add their real names. Either I make up their names or I look up names that, like, relate to them. You know what I mean? Like, I literally, for, um, mystery... Uh, or Shady Green, best friend, by the way, or one of my best friends, I literally looked up girl names for cool girls because I think that she's awesome. And so many things came up and I was like, you know, cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's normally what I do. Like for Nuclear Panda, I look up like just kind of boy names because like I can't really like can't really like describe his personality in words and when I do it'll sound like weird I'm just really not good at describing personalities like I if I could describe him in just like a few words it would be probably creative funny and caring because it's self-explanatory because he is and you know like that's just kind of what's up you know what I'm saying like seriously we are almost done cutting these you guys you don't have to sit and listen to me talk to myself for <laughs> much longer <laughs> it just makes me sound really sad that's okay comment below if you guys talk to yourselves I find myself talking to myself a lot for some reason honestly like okay so we're, we I'm cutting out the natural hair colors and now I'm moving on to unnatural hair colors because if I get like sci-fi or fantasy or something that's not realistic then I'm obviously that's where these bad boys will come into play and we have pretty colors like rose gold blue gray maroon like stuff like that and I really love writing fantasy because you know the possibilities are endless fantasy you can let your imagination you know just like go and for those of my writer friends out there, such as Shady Green or Nuclear Panda or Nuclear Ape, I don't know if Ape and Panda are still writing books, but if they are, you guys can totally do this. Like, obviously, you don't have to do this whole, like, oh, yeah, I'm just cutting out pieces of paper and I'm going to talk through a camera because I'm weird. Like, you guys can just do this because, like, I just thought of it out of the blue. And if you guys have inspiration, if you guys want to do this too, then, like, go for it. Okie dokie. Now we are on to heights. And by the way, the height range that I put is four seven through seven feet. I make, and of course, like I'm gonna incorporate myself 
Shady, uh, my sister, and one of my best friends who her creepy pasta OC's name is DH, so that'll be what I'll address her as on YouTube is DH. And you know, sorry, I have, AD, I have ADD, don't come for me. Um, you know, it's like obviously I'm not gonna let fate decide their height because, like, I don't want because DH is the shortest out of all of us, and I don't, I want. When it comes to that kind of stuff, like who's the shortest, who's the tallest, I don't want to like, you know, change it. I want to keep it the same and she is the shortest. So this, the height, fate won't determine. I will determine. And by the way, there will be, I can already guarantee you that there will be a few like things that fate will decide. And maybe as the author, I might not want to put that in my book. So there will be a few things that I'll be like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> because like it's my book that I'm gonna write I know I just said that it was your guys's book too but like there are some things that I'm just gonna say like oh excuse me okay guys this is the last strip it is skin tones <gasps> we did it Awesome. Okay. Let me just quickly, I have this on the face cam because I'm weird. Look at all this paper that I cut out. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself that I actually had the... I'm so ladylike. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself. Okay. Let me put this stuff in the trash. Anyway, so yeah, I'm done cutting out stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and I hope you guys are excited for to let fate decide what book I'm gonna write. And I will take your guys' suggestions and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all so much and thank you again for 100 subscribers. Bye!